Good evening. My name is Bob Caradio, and I'm a resident of Westerly, Rhode Island. And this evening, I'm here to address the Westerly School Committee on two topics. The first topic I'm going to talk about is my app request, which I filed on the 27th of May, because I know that tenets and pillars of critical race theory permeate the Westerly School District. The superintendent has seen fit to charge me $9,300 for public information, and I don't think that's right, and I'm going to fight it. Good evening. On 27 May, I mailed my initial app request to Western Public Schools, and it was received on June 1st. The district's response to me via email was received on 6-10, and then via hard, co hard copy, excuse me, sometime shortly thereafter. Some highlights therein. The superintendent labeled my 10-item request voluminous. And in the same breath, said it would cost me $9,285 to get this public information. It's funny how I was charged nearly the same amount as the town of South Kingstown charged my friend and colleague who had over 15 times the amount of requests than did I. The superintendent also included in this letter that no information would be sent, paraphrasing, until you had the money in hand. Now let me break this down for you a little bit. In the letter it said it would take some 620 hours to compile this information at $15 an hour, the first hour being free uh, by statute. Breaking it down a little bit further, that is one person working 15.5 40-hour work weeks, two people working 7.8 40-hour work weeks, or three people working 5.2 40-hour work weeks to complete this. So one person would conceivably be working until the end of September to fulfill my request, which by law, you have only 30 days to fulfill. And that 30 days includes a, a 20 day extension, which uh, the district is entitled to, and they took. Even three people would not be able to get me the info in time to conform with the law Title 38. All but two of the items would be PDF or Word documents easily retrieved in minutes. Two were as follows. Emails to and from the superintendent, the assistant superintendent, regarding key terms like critical race theory, race, bias, systemic racism, anti-racism, Black Lives Matter, the 1619 Project, Ibram X. Kendi, George Floyd, white privilege, and black, excuse me, black and brown people. The second, were all Westerly Public School emails mentioning those words or phrases just mentioned in conjunction with three teachers whom I named in my actual request. 223,000 results supposedly were yielded. You've been very busy. I'm sure the residents and taxpayers and parents of Westerly would be quite interested in finding out why these terms were found in almost a quarter of a million emails in the last year. 
In the district's response to my original, so far, APRA request, that's a public records request for people in the audience who don't know, I was asked for clarification on three items. I was told or encouraged to narrow my search, which was from May 15th of last year to May 18th of this year, to get the cost down. Of course that's what you want. I want everything from George Floyd's killing to last month, which includes the superintendent's email to Wesley District families on the 8th of June, which spoke of systemic inequities and implicit biases in this district, neither of which has ever been substantiated. No mention of cost of copying documents was mentioned in your first response, leading one to logically believe that copying costs were part of the cost. Part of that $9,300. I clarified three items, as I was asked to do, and responded that I take all responsive documents electronically, eliminating the need for someone to stand at a copy machine and make physical copies, thinking that that was going to knock the cost down. In the superintendent's response dated 15 June, the clarifications were confirmed. The response also reaffirmed the $9,285 cost in spite of my request to receive all responsive documents electronically, no physical copies. Now the superintendent says the copying costs were not included in his initial response. Again, he suggested that I narrow my search to drive down costs, but of course. Then again, I am reminded to pay so they can proceed with processing my request. They want the money. This town is in danger of messing up its third act in less than a year. It is clear where this is going. I have been told there will be attorneys lining up to take this case for nothing. And the town will pay again. The statute says the requester may be charged a reasonable cost for providing the records. 620 man hours at $15 an hour and $9,285 is not reasonable. It is a joke. I am asking yet again for this public information to be provided to me at a reasonable cost. Don't insult my intelligence or that of the citizens, taxpayers, and parents of this town my email requests are very narrow in scope, very specific, not voluminous, as you state. Redacting a document, as any good attorney knows, is a piece of cake. Even I know this. Attorney Nardone, or in this case, Attorney Lalo, being a good attorney, knows this as well. But I get why you're trying to scare me, though. I do get that. Intimidate me hide the info from me and the public. The information is very damaging to several here tonight. Career ending possibly for some. We as taxpayers have already paid for this information. These are not your kids. They are our kids. You serve at our pleasure. If Westerly Public Schools has nothing to hide, why not readily release this information
information to the public that I request. What exactly are you hiding? I am not going anywhere. And I will continue to fight for our kids, for our good teachers, and for this country. Fulfill my APRA request by July 13th, as you said in your initial response, and as the law commands. Thank you. Thank you, honorable school committee members. Fellow members on recent Senator drive, I'm here because I learned that you wanted to assess over a $9,000 bill to the citizen who was requesting public information. I'd like to remind you that the town of Westerly is in the crosshairs of the Attorney General's office for Apple Nations. And it strikes me that when you want to charge a individual citizen $9,200 for public information, that basically you're telling the citizen that we're not going to give you that information. It looks like to me complete stonewalling. And I expect that if a complaint goes to the Attorney General's office, that they're going to bring a sledgehammer down on our heads. I do believe you. Every citizen in Westerly has the right to ask their government for uh, public information. Every citizen has their right because of the law. And government has an obligation to be completely transparent and get that information to that citizen as quickly as possible. That's what we want in government. That's, that's how we do things in the United States of America, is we are completely transparent with our citizens. And the reason why the law exists uh, under the Freedom of Information Act is to make sure that the citizens have the ability to monitor what exactly their government is doing. We're all taxpayers. We all pay a lot of money in taxes each year. And information that our citizens ask, just give it to them. Just give it to them. It's not that hard. It's, it's what you have a $60 million budget for. It's to educate our kids and keep the community aware of what you're doing. But it seems to me that the schools are potentially hiding what they're teaching our children. And that is wrong. I hope that that's not the case. But when you don't give information in a timely manner to, to citizens who are asking questions, then it looks bad. It just really looks bad. So I would ask you that you reconsider where you stand and you get the information that any citizen asks them as quickly as well.